Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is prepositional phrase number 42. The prepositional phrase today is on hold, and we have a three meanings and three uses we will cover with this prepositional phrase today. Okay, let's take a look at the note first. Uh, so one meaning could be that something is on reserve or it is being saved for someone. Usually it's used with the verbs to put, like somebody could put something on hold for you or something somebody already has something on hold for you. So we could use it both ways. Okay, let's look at the second one here. It could simply mean delayed or postponed. So something could be on hold because you're not going to do it now for whatever reason. It's being delayed. It's being postponed. Number three, uh, this one is in regard uh, to a telephone call, probably the most common use, uh, to be waiting to talk to someone on the other end of the telephone line. Yes. Uh, okay, so let's look at all the examples here to cover all of these. Here's the first one. I called the store owner to save that item for me. Uh, he put it on hold for me, and I have until Friday to pick it up. Yeah, so maybe maybe they'll save it for you. They won't save it for you for a very long time, but maybe, you know, if they know that you're a, a customer that's been there before, maybe they will hold it for you. If you call and say, put that aside for me, I'm going to pick it up. I definitely want it. Put it on hold for me. Or you could say, he has it on hold for you. All right, number two here. Uh, I requested the librarian to put that book on hold for me when it is returned. Maybe you wanted the book and somebody already borrowed it, it's already out, and you want to get it next. So you ask the librarian to put it on hold for you when the other person returns it. So they won't just put it on the shelf so somebody else could take it out. They're going to put it on hold for you, then they'll call you. We got it. Come, now you can borrow it. Like that. Okay, number three here. Uh, the boss said to put this project on hold. Uh, for now, we have a more urgent matter to deal with. So this is, again, where you it's uh, delayed, it's postponed. We have to deal with this other one that's more important now. Number four, I put my vacation plans on hold until the coronavirus is completely over. Yeah, I heard a lot of people do this. Uh, also, even, even if you weren't worried about the coronavirus, you might go somewhere and you might be quarantined somewhere. You know, back and forth both ways, a really bad time to travel. So you might put your vacation plans on hold. Okay, number five here. Uh, that company left me on hold for 30 minutes before I could finally speak to someone, you know, speak to someone about your problem. So, you know, a lot of times you might call and they say, well, on hold. Sometimes if it's a long time, they'll tell you an estimated waiting time too. All right, and um, number six here, the last one. Uh, every time I call to complain about something, I end up on hold for a long time. I think they are trying to discourage anyone from complaining. Maybe they do that on purpose because they really don't like complaints. Maybe they hope you will just give up and hang out and forget about complaining. Uh, somebody might say something like that. Anyway, I uh, hope you got it. I uh, hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.